Hey everyone! How have you all been doing lately? As I've mentioned in my previous videos, integration and features are constantly being developed around WP Media Folder plugin. This feature is incredibly important because it helps you manage your media on WordPress. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to another great integration that allows professional photographers to manage photo albums and communicate with their clients. WP Media Folder Photographer feature essentially functions as media galleries on steroids. This photographer plugin add-in was created to make the gallery more versatile, so now you not only manage your albums in the gallery or insert them into your pages of content, but you can also share those albums with clients. What we'll cover in this video are all the features related to the photograph business, create private galleries and share them with clients, protect your photos, communicate using comments on images, design your public galleries, and many other things. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. To activate the photographer feature in WP settings, you'll need to go to the setting panel. From there, navigate to the photographer option and enable the feature. Once that's done, head over to the gallery to discover how to use the feature. Here's how the photographer integration is displayed. It essentially works as a media gallery, which means you can upload files from your computer or insert media from your WP Media Gallery. You can create a new gallery here, or just right-click on Photographer and choose to create a new album. After you've created an album, you can easily drag and drop other files you've already imported to your gallery. And that's it. Now you have a new album with media files inside. Now let me show you the features I mentioned earlier. The first one is the privacy setting of the photographer album. Right-click on the album you just created and share it. Here's how the sharing panel with email address, gallery password, and email subject is displayed. I'll walk you through this part quickly to keep things as simple as possible. Once the process is done, just click send email and your album will be shared. Now, back to your album, right-click on it and open the private gallery. This is how your shared albums will be displayed to your clients. Note that you can share your album with several people at once, not just one or two. The good thing about it for photographers is that when they come back from a photo shooting, they upload images here, and all photos will be resized right away. Also, you can share albums with a client in one click as we've just seen. Now let's jump to the next sequence and interact with the gallery as a photographer client. This is how your customers and clients will see your album from their perspective. In this display, you can move your mouse cursor over a picture to view two options on the right corner of each picture, one is download and the other is wishlist. Let's wishlist some pictures to discover more features. After adding some pictures to my wishlist, I can open my list with this button or filter which pictures I've marked so far. Or, with this button, I can download the whole list I've made with some quality options. We'll see later in this video how you can set up the image sizes available for download. Now, let's go back to the album. Imagine I'm a client and I want to add some feedback to the images. How would I contact the photographer and explain what are the modification required for, let's say, 50 pictures? Let's face it, it would be a nightmare using email or chat. Well, there's no need to go to such lengths. Just click on Open Wishlist and you'll find a comment section inside. I'll try to leave a comment to demonstrate for you guys. After that, the comment will be visible to everyone who has access to this album, I mean your photographer, but also users who have access to this album. And the best part about that is that the photo comments are fully plugged with the native WordPress comment system. As you can see here, I'm going back into the WordPress admin, in the comments section, I can see all the customer comments, and reply directly. Also, as a photographer, I'm notified by email too, and from the photographer gallery system, I can also manage new comment here. Hey there, suppose I'm a photographer and I want to share my amazing work with the world in the most attractive way possible. So, the question is, how can I achieve that? As they say, actions speak louder than words. So, let me show you how I can do this on my Elementor page content and see how it looks when displayed. Another great tool that photographers can add is the WP Media Folder Galley add-on. It seamlessly integrates with the public media gallery I choose and allows me to display my work without any hiccups. 
Moreover, you can also choose themes for your gallery to make it more appealing to your viewers. The WP Media Folder plugin provides you with some great themes that you can make use of. Besides the default theme, we have Masonry theme, Portfolio theme, Slider theme to make it look like a slideshow, Flow slide with 3D fresh view, Square grid with basic arrangement for those who like it simple, Material theme to look more tech savvy, and lastly, custom grid where you can customize your own display. Now let's jump to the next sequence where we'll focus on the image protection in terms of size and watermark. Okay, so let's take a moment to look at some settings. Specifically, in the photographer setting, there's an option to limit the maximum size of downloadable files on your gallery. This is really useful because it allows you to control the size of the files that your clients can download. Note that this setting can also be defined by gallery. As you can see here, on the client side public page, I can download images from this gallery. But, I've restricted the download to only three small sizes, not the big images. The idea is that, when the photos are for example paid by the client, you can unlock the full size download. Another important setting is the watermark setting. This lets you add a watermark to your photos so that when someone downloads an image from your website or content, the photo will have a watermark that can't be removed. To give you an idea, let me walk you through an example. First, I'll select a logo from my media library and then adjust the settings accordingly. Once that's done, I'll save the changes and go back to my shared gallery. I'll then download a file from the gallery, like this one, and open it on my computer. And voila! You'll notice that the logo I chose earlier is now in the left corner of the photo as a watermark. To summarize, let's discuss the pricing for this integration. The photographer integration is included in the plugin add-in, not the main WordPress media folder plugin membership. This plugin add-in offers various other useful features, such as cloud connectors like Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive, among others. It's also compatible with popular third-party plugins like DV Builder, Gutenberg, and Elementor. You can check my other videos to find out more about the additional add-ons available. The plugin's main features are available for $49, but if you want to use the gallery and photographer add-on, you'll need to upgrade to the $69 option. This option also includes cloud integration, which allows you to connect to many different cloud services. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any question using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a nice day, bye.